Finally, the last day of duty. Graduation's coming up soon. But what am I gonna do after? I really haven't had the time to think about it. Do I really want to be in the hospital? Do I want to be like every other nurse? Don't know what to do after college? Are you tired of the hospital setting? Is the community not cut out for you? Then what job is cut out for us? Why not Why be, be a, a private, private nurse? Private duty nursing is a type of home care service that many nurses know little about. Few nursing programs even mention private duty nursing as a career option. But private duty nursing can offer an RN the opportunity to deliver the personalized care many of us were taught to provide. Private duty nurses are professional practitioners who give direct, comprehensive care on an hourly or live-in basis. But today, the private duty nurse takes care of the acutely or chronically ill child or adult. The personal characteristics for success in private duty nursing include adaptability, a sense of humor, excellent manners, and the ability to establish a warm yet professional relationship with the patient and family. part of the Invictus Batch and June July 2012 board class. It's funny because for me, the advantages are also disadvantages. I work one is to one in a patient so there will be more time for me to get to know them and I don't have to rush in giving medications and making treatments. But when I don't have any nursing care to be done, I am acting like a babysitter. One advantage of private nursing is that you get to master the disease process of your patient because you are dealing with it in every duty that you have. The, the disadvantage would be you will get lesser hospital experience wherein you would not get to know the other diseases and other treatments that are available in the hospital. I graduated from Holy Angel University to be honest, I chose this field because of the salary, which is higher than the hospital rate. I am totally familiar with the medications, treatments, procedures my patients receive. One of the advantages of being a private nurse is I could accept or refuse patients based on my own preferences. the latest equipment used when taking blood pressure. This is a wrist type blood pressure monitor and it uses two AAA batteries making it portable and convenient. Unlike the original BP apparatus, this one is completely electronic which makes it fully automatic. This is a pulse oximeter. It measures the glucose saturation as well as the pulse rate of the patient. It has a red sensor inside where it reads the oxygenation of the body through the nail bed capillaries when you insert your finger.
construction machine is a newly designed oil-free lubrication pump based on extensive design. It is especially designed for absorbing thick liquids. It is not only used as an aspirator in the operating room, but also as a home health care product. This is a one-touch blood glucose monitoring kit. This kit contains a lancet, test strips, and the blood glucose monitoring device. This device is used for the quantitative measurement of glucose in the whole capillary blood system. The test should only be taken if you have diabetes and need to monitor your blood sugar levels. This is the patient's bed. It is equipped with adjustable side rails which can easily be lifted up or brought down. The side rails ensure the patient's safety against an accidental fall. This bed is also equipped with a crank handle and a foot crank handle to adjust the bed position. This bed is also equipped with an alternating pressure relief bubble pad system. It is specifically designed for the prevention and treatment of stage 1 and 2 pressure sores. The tracheostomy tube is a curved tube that is inserted into a tracheostomy stomach. A commonly tracheostomy tube consists of three parts. Outer cannula with flange, inner cannula, and an obturator. The outer cannula is the outer tube that holds the tracheostomy open. A neck plate extends from the sides of the outer tube and has poles to attach cloth ties or velcro strap around the neck. The inner cannula fits inside the outer cannula. It has a lock to keep it from being puffed out and it is removed for cleaning. The obturator is used to insert a tracheostomy tube. It fits inside the tube to provide a smooth surface that guides the tracheostomy tube when it is being inserted.